Um, we're going to start with um, trunk rotations. So I'm on the floor. Um, if you are a seated athlete, you're going to be doing just the, the twist from as far up as you can. Um, I like to cross my leg when I do these. So let's go ahead and do um, two 30 second uh, trunk twists, if my phone will cooperate. Okay, that's not bad at me. Okay, so we're going to go 30 seconds each way. Um, and you twist wherever you can and as far as you can. Don't bounce though. So nice, even push. Um, not like cranking into it, not like twisting where it hurts. It's just a nice, even, even push. That's about halfway, 15 seconds. And then we're going to switch sides. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Same push. Try to keep that head straight ahead like you're looking straight down the line. It's good for your, it's good for your flexibility too. About 10 more seconds. Cool. All right, we're going to loosen our shoulders up because we're going to be doing a lot of shoulder stuff. So let's do some uh, shoulder rolls. So that's going to be, you're taking our shoulders back, kind of pinching your shoulder blades nice and tight. We're going to do 10 of those. We'll do those together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now let's do 10 forward. So just kind of rolling into your shoulders going forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. How's it going, Vincent? Hey, what's up, man? We are just stretching. Um, <laughs> So we're gonna do now uh, reach acrosses, which is you just take take that arm that we just were doing the rolls, hold your elbow and just push it in nice and tight. I'm gonna time these for us. Here we go. You pick a side. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. When you're doing these, keep your keep your posture nice and straight. Don't slouch like I do. Almost done. We're going to switch sides. All right, switching. Tuck that arm in nice and tight. Keep it nice and snug. You should feel your shoulder start to loosen right around your, your deltoid and your rotator cuff. You want to get more blood in there? Move your hand up and down. You'll just feel it kind of like pumping. Couple more. Nice. Okay, we're going to do a couple rows just to kind of keep everything firing. Um, so rows, just go as far forward as you can, and then you want to bring it in tight so your chest is kind of sticking out like you're trying to show your whatever logo you got on your shirt. So forward all the way back. So just like a rowing machine. So we're going to do 20. And now let's do 15 of these guys. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, five. They always make me feel like I'm at the beach. All right, here we go. So again, six exercises. Um, we are going to add in, like I said, when we do these planks, um, you try to do as much of this as you can. Um, what I want you guys to do, who came in a little bit behind, is um, when you're in the plank like this, as you're in that front plank, 
I want you just to be able to bring your leg up a little bit, just really quick. It's a quick little lift. Um, even if you cannot slide your leg up far, that's okay. Even if you're just lifting it, what it's gonna make you do is shift your weight. And that's what I want is that weight shift is what's going to get your coordination going. Um, and it just fires a whole different group of muscles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, that's gonna be our second exercise. So we're gonna start with bird dogs. Um, if you are a seated athlete, you're gonna be doing the twist crunch. So twisting, then engaging totally. Bird dogs, we're gonna do 10 on each side. And I'll switch the twist folks at the 10 count. So again, here we go, we'll do uh, 10 on each side. So you guys can pick whatever side you want to start with. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, switching sides and switching sides for the twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now we're gonna do those front planks. So if you wish, you can do those um, kick throughs. Basically a bird dog is like that kick through, but it's a lot less aggressive. So Again, do as much of it as you wish. We're gonna hold that front plank for 45 seconds. If you're seated, you are going to do a hover and you're gonna hold that hover for the entire 45 seconds. It's gonna be a long hover. So make sure those elbows are locked out, nice and straight. Here we go, 45 seconds. So at any time you can kick your feet up. Um, you don't wanna do it the whole 45 seconds. I just kind of throw them in there every now and again. Just give you a little bit of coordination if you need. We're just coming up on 30 seconds. Keep holding that hover. If you're hovering nice and tight. Core is nice and tight. Five more seconds, or I'm sorry, six more seconds. And that's it. All right, now we're all gonna do crunches together. So we're gonna do 15 crunches. Remember just peeling those shoulder blades up off the ground. Here we go. Stop it. Knees are going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Lovely. Okay, we're gonna do some V ups. So it's gonna build right off of those crunches. We're gonna do uh, fifteen of those. And if you're doing, if you're seated, you are now doing a, a twist crunch. So I'll, I'll switch you at seven. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go ahead and switch sides. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Ooh, it makes him tired, doesn't it? All right, we're gonna do Russian twists. We're gonna do 30 of those. And everyone's gonna do those, seated athletes as well. So 30 for the first round. Okay, here we go. Remember, hands are either just touching or whatever weight you're using is just touching. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Thirty. 
Okay, last thing in this rotation. Um, we're gonna do block passes. So I don't have a block, so I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pretend. Yeah, I don't have any. Um, so here we go. Uh, oh, block passes. If you're sitting, you're doing a front crunch, um, pulsing down to your knees. Here we go. And I will, oh, you're doing them right with us. We're gonna do 20 of these guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely job. All right, take a break, drink some water. So what we're trying to do is we're building, I'm timing, uh, we're trying to build movements off of each other now. And again, all of these kind of help with when I'm climbing. So Russian twists are good for your sides. Um, block passes are good for your lower and upper uh, core. V ups are the same. Crunches are good for everything. And planks are good for your erector muscles. Bird dogs just are really good flexibility pieces. Choo -choo train. So what we're going to do is when we go two minutes of rest, we're going to jump back in with some stretches that are going to kind of fire us again. And then we're going to go right through that list again. Did anybody try those plank kicks? I did. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah, it's kind of fun, right? Yeah. Kind of fun in a weird way, but yeah, it's all fun. So you're going to go back. There it is. So I feel like our trunk is warmed up. We're going to do some, some shoulder rolls and some rows again um, to get the, everything fired again. But you got about 30 seconds yet left. So today we're going to do two and a half rotations. Um, and the half is going to happen because we're, we're going to go down the three um, in the last round, uh, the three fun ones. And I'll, I won't tell you those until we're, until we're there. I don't want you to get too excited. Okay. So we're going to start with, uh, that's two minutes. We're going to do those shoulder rolls again. Let's do 10 of those going back and then 10 going forward. Hopefully keep our shoulders warmed up that whole time. Here we go. One, two, three. Really pinch them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go 10 the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're gonna do those rows again. So pivoting at your hips, pulling in, pulling back. Make sure that chest comes up nice and high. We're gonna do 15 of these guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with bird dogs. You're a seated athlete, you're doing a twist, and I will switch you at 10. Everyone else, we're going to do bird dogs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, uh, twist that other way, hold that one, switching sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lovely. Okay, right into the planks. We're gonna go. So this time we're gonna go for a minute. So it's only 15 more seconds. And if you want to do those kicks, just throw those kicks in whenever you wish. Um, if you are seated, you're going to do a hover. I'll call you off at 45 seconds and then start you up for the last five. Here we go. Up and away. Front plank. And then if you want to throw those side kicks in, whenever you want, you just throw it in. Keep that core nice and tight. Form is better than quantity. You guys are killing it. Over halfway there. Keep holding it. Okay, if you're hovering, sit down, rest. Hovering is going back up. And that's a minute. Nice job. Resetting. Okay, crunches. 15 crunches. Here we go. Remember, fingers are just behind your head. Shoulder blades coming up. 15. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. Woo. Okay. Russian twists. Thirty of these guys. Everyone does those. Uh, remember, Russian twists, if you want to make it harder, float your feet. If you want to make it easier, drop your legs straight. That's how you can kind of trim up your trim up your exercise as you're going. Here we go. We're going to do 30 of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30. Beautifully done. Okay, block passes followed by V-ups. So if you're doing uh, block passes, great. If you're not, you're doing a front crunch um, down to your knees, pulsing down to your knees. And we are doing 20 of these fun things. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Take a second. We're going to do V ups to finish. And then we're going to do one more short rep. So, V ups, we're going to do 15 of these guys. If you are seated, sorry, you're doing that twist crunch, which I will switch you at the seven. Seven counts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch sides. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
fantastic job. Okay, one more short round, take a little break. You guys are killing it. This one will just be the Russian twist, the crunches, and a plank at the end. But drink water, stay loose. You guys are doing awesome today. We'll take two minutes here. And then we'll start with the Russian twist. So all of these kind of work together to build all around your core. That's the whole idea is that your core develops on all sides and up and down. Because if you only develop, like if you only do sit-ups, you're really just developing like the front end here, which, which is fine, but um, it helps to build everything. Then you're a lot more balanced as an athlete and you'll feel better Hopefully don't get injured, get injured less. Hopefully that's the, always the idea. Um, Cause if I just go climbing, then I just usually get, I, I get injured because I'm not balancing myself out. Um, and your core, I don't care what sport you do. If your core is strong, it's just a better thing. It makes you more durable. Not that anybody's getting older, but you know, as you get older, right? It gets a little bit harder. You guys are all young. <laughs> You're young, Jim. You're young. <laughs> all right, we got about 15 more seconds. So we're going to start with those Russian twists. Doing 30 of those bad boys. And everyone's doing those. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last set. Okay, 30 of these guys. And we're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. Okay, crunches. Everybody's doing the same. We are doing 15 of these guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, and five. Lovely. Okay. Planks are 45 seconds or a hover for 45 seconds if you're a seated athlete today. So 45. As long as my phone is here. Okay, here we go. And up and away. So you don't have to do the kicks. You just ride out the 45 seconds if you wish. Doing awesome. Remember, if you have to drop a knee down, that's okay. That's a good thing. Keep that form nice and nice and good, nice and even, nice and straight. No sagging, no bowing. Over halfway there, you guys. Killing it. 10 more seconds, finish strong, doing great. Finish strong, three, two, one, lovely. Guys, that is awesome. All right, let's stretch again. Now that our core is all warmed up. So let's do our, uh, our back twist. Yeah, there we go. Let's start with a trunk rotation first. I'm gonna do that for 30 seconds. And here we go. Keep it nice and get as much of that turn as you can with your trunk now. Because you should be nice and warmed up. So it should feel good. 
Just let it roll over. About 10 more seconds. Okay, and switching sides. Switch the sides, hold it for 10. Five more. Almost there. I lied, it was actually 10 more. Awesome. Okay, let's do those reach crosses. Keep those shoulders nice and warm. We're gonna hold that for 30 seconds too. Here we go. Tuck that elbow. Let your shoulder relax, let that rotator cuff relax. And hold it in nice and tight. And keep that, your back as straight as you can too. Try not to slouch. Good, coming up on 25, we're gonna switch here. Let's switch sides. Remember, you can jiggle those fingers around, it gets the blood moving even more. Doing good. Five more seconds. Cool. Now let's just go into a straight forward like to do in the rows, but not doing the rows. We're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. So it's just a forward bend and let's get that spine nice and long. We're gonna hold that one for 30 seconds. So go as far forward as you can. And I have to pull on my legs a little bit because I'm not flexible. Mm -hmm. So just kind of keep bending as far as you possibly can. Pivot point is right at your hips. Let your back just roll over. This one should feel good after all we did. You feel it in your hamstrings. Good. Nice, now let's go nice and tall and straighten your spine all the way up to the sky. So if you can lift your arms up, lift them up. If you cannot lift them up, still kind of get that spine nice and straight. We're gonna hold that one for 30 as well. Up in the air, here we go. Keep that form nice and straight though. When we come to the 30 seconds on this one, we're going to then just bend to the sides just for about 10 seconds on each side. Keep that spine nice and straight. Like you're flying. Okay, get ready to tip to one side. Here we go. But again, keep that form straight up and down. Don't, twi don't fall backwards or forwards. This is when your core should engage. Okay, switch to the other side. Good. Fantastic. Nice, you guys. So what we did was we went a lot faster today. So um, with a break in between and then each round, um, my goal is to get your cardio up to get your heart uh, pumping a little bit too, instead of just doing core. Um, and we're going to keep doing that. We're going to keep, I keep reading about the importance of that. So I want you guys to have like a nice, well-rounded core. And that way, um, moving quickly through the six exercises with those breaks after in between each set, um, hopefully keeps your heart rate up. By the end of it, we want your heart rate to be kind of coming back down. That's why we stretch at the end. But like, hopefully you're feeling that you're feeling a little bit tired or fatigued. So everybody good?